Yo yo. Here we are back uh, uh, back together again. Is this nice? Let's do it. Você e eu nós dois depois uma canção de amor e paz para se cantar a noite a lua então virá só para nós dois felizes juntinhos é tão gostoso ouvir você falar que o nosso amor jamais meu bem vai se acabar e nós seremos sempre dois para sonhar felizes juntinhos baby how are you friends welcome happy thir- happy wednesday always nice to have the show back got a box of records yesterday this was part of it um lots of good records as a matter of fact if you want to check out the archive actually there's nothing stopping uh, stopping me from um doing a show and tell this one would be part of the show and tell os canibais and actually what you're going to see is, uh, some records that, um, will show up on, um, old man's. Give me a sec. I got to get him first. Here we go. So the O's County Bice is, um, what do you call it? Um, <clears throat> motherfucker. Sorry. There you go. The Oskani Bice is uh, some uh, obscure, well, rare. It's pretty rare Brazilian uh, garage. I think from 1968 or something like that. And uh, when I saw it, it's a Mr. Bongo release. Mr. Bongo pretty much never disappoint for me. So, I mean, uh, some of the Tim Maya stuff is on... um, on Mr. Bongo, Arthur Verokai, Horseman, uh, Seal, uh, what's it called? Um, Gal Costa. You know what I'm saying? Marcos Valley. The good stuff. So when I saw this, I knew it. Like, I mean, okay, it's obscure, but that's kind of what I was looking for. This here is um, a record by uh, Devendra Banhart. Jits. 
sent it. Um, it's very folky. I would say that it sounds like, uh, I, well, I told her as I was listening to it, it made me think of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex was the duo. Mark Bolin and that other dude on the bongos type of thing, uh, playing, uh, uh, just doing duos, right? Pretty hippie. Good stuff. Like, I really love that band. So this, to me, reminded me a good bunch of it, uh, like a good bunch of that, uh, the vocalization especially. Okay. Uh, this is fucking amazing record. This is another Jits record. Sorry, I have to remember the name of it. What the hell is this name? Oh, Shlomo. This is a dude named Shlomo. Electronics. Yeah, electronic music. It's really damn good. This was, uh, one of the nice surprises of the week. Discovering this was good, so... Had a play, I would be surprised. Uh, don't be surprised if you wind up hearing something. Uh, certainly one of the finds of the week, and uh, thank that's thanks to Jits. Jits sent it. When I share some of it with you, you'll see. Yeah, Shlomo's fucking good, dude. Skinty Fia, this is uh, Fontaine's DC. I don't know Fontaine's DC at all. Uh, however, I keep hearing it come up in conversation and how it's such a good record. I know that it's supposed to be more on the punky side, post-punk side type of thing, which to me is fine. It's on Partisan Records, same label that put out, uh, Idols Records and, uh, some of the, uh, some, um, some of the Fela Kuti reissues, so they're okay. So this is what we're going to do for Old Man. We're going to do Skinty Fia by DC, Fon uh, by Fontaine's DC next Friday, this Friday coming up. Okay. Oh no, it's Devo. I think I said last week that, um, I had bought a copy of Oh no, it's Devo from my record store, but they did not say, uh, that it was a picture disc. So I got to send it back. It kind of pissed me off, right? Because now it's just kind of sitting there. I have to go to the store. Anyway, we're probably gonna. I'm gonna probably wind up bringing these records no sooner than when we visit uh, during our Montreal meetup. But at the same time that that was there, there was this Japanese copy. Had I known that the other one was a picture disc, I would have immediately gone for the Japanese copy. So here you go. That's how I obtained this Japanese pressing of uh, Oh No It's Devo. Fantastic album. Fantastic pressing. Listened to it today. It's pretty amazing. Um, this is Author and Punisher, an earlier Author and Punisher record, probably 2018 or something like that. And, um, it's good. It's on Relapse Records. It's not expensive. I think it was a $25 record or something like this. Relapse is always affordable. Or they have been up to now. Okay. This is one of the big gets for me. Um, I was missing for the longest time. I had no, none, 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 no merciful fate. And I'm a huge mer uh, merciful fate guy. I'm a huge King diamond guy. They didn't have any records. Finally, uh, metal blade put out some, uh, affordable reissues. So I picked up Melissa a few months ago and I finally found my copy of don't break the oath. This is a hell of a record. <laughs> Speed, Sound, Country. Is that the name of it? Uh, Speed, Sound, Lonely. This is a Kurt Vile EP, which features, I believe, well, certainly features one of the last performances ever by John Prine. This is a hell of an EP. Really very nice. I enjoyed it. This one's really good. Ghost Bath. I fucking like this band. It makes me crazy that I can't find my more recent record. It's just, it's lost in the stacks. But I have another Ghost Bath, uh, Bath record. It was good enough. I liked it enough uh, to go out and get some earlier stuff. And this is the one I picked up. It's really damn good. I'll play some for you. Tyler, the creator. 
Finally, I haven't heard this. Call me if you get lost. Actually, what it is that I was thinking is maybe doing this as the old man too. Like do this for on the Friday and maybe if we crowdfund, I'll do a full album listen here type of thing, you know? Killer Mike. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, Run the Jewels. I don't think that it's saying a whole lot either. You know, lots of people are fans of theirs. I'm not sure that this record set the world on fire for me. It's nice to have because you can hear the um, evolution type of thing of what Run the Jewels was to be. I mean... LP produced the record, he's rapping, and he's still kind of like finding his voice and stuff, you know? Is it terrible? No, of course not. Not at all. You know? It's all right. This album is fucking brilliant. Brilliant. Michelle in the gay cello. Bitter. This album is, uh, yeah, beast mode. Very, very chill. I had this on CD. It's it's my favorite Michelle in the KO cello record, as a matter of fact. Um, finally put out on vinyl for the first time this year on uh, Run Out Groove Records. So those of you that like this record specifically, the vinyl is worth it. It sounds, it sounds awesome. Big fan. Am I done? Oh, okay, no. This is something that I received from Au Trantois Tour, which I'll play for you, 33 RPM. It's a a band called um, Expat and Friends. I think is the name. No, that's the name of the album. Alex McMahon. I don't fucking remember, but I'll play some for you. And that's what it looks like. We'll be listening to some of this stuff, okay? If you have any requests, put them in. What is the name of the album that reminded me of Tyrannosaurus Rex? Request a song off of it and I'll play. This is uh, Devendra Van Hart. He's usually pretty hippy-dippy, has the electronic stuff. That's how I know him. This is pretty much folky. Quite good. So, if you want to hear from any of this, go take a look at the archive. I've already entered them all into the archive. They've all, they're all... Nice and clean, so they'll sound great. And uh, I would say save Fontaine's DC. Don't pick anything off of that, and don't pick anything off Tyler, the creator. Those uh, We're going to save those for full album listens. How you doing, Red Savage? How are you doing, all of you? I'm going to play you a track off uh, the last Clutch album that I picked up. Last week? What's the name of this damn record? Robot Hive slash Exodus. So it's basically two albums in one, I guess. Robot Hive and Exodus. Damn good. Um, I'm going to play you a song called Gravel Road, which is probably the funkiest clutch song I've ever heard. Really damn good. Very happy to be here with you. New people, if you are guests of ours, please feel free to say hello to us. Patrons, thank you for making this vibe happen, man. It happens thanks to you. Here's some clutch. I guess I know how to pick the songs, right? I'm going down that gravel, gonna take the right hand road. Damn! I'm going down that gravel, gonna take the right hand road. And I ain't stopping to my baby's home.
Happy birthday to Darnsey! Fun, right? As I'm trying to queue up, what do we have here? Some Radiohead. We got some Devo, and we got some Cure. Okay, we'll get that done. Um, next couple of records are gonna be fun too. I got my weed today. My weed delivery came. Oh, happy day! If I look at my past orders, I realize that my, um, I spend about 200 bucks a month on weed and gummies and all the rest of that stuff. I might be okay with that. It brings me pleasure. It does my head good. It's really, yeah, man, I love it. What weed is it? Uh, this is, these are blunts, man. Um. I can answer that. Give me a sec. Oh yeah, there's a, they're uh, pre rolls. I've um, never bought pre rolls in my life. Um, and really started the last the the, the first time I ever smoked a pre roll actually was in San Francisco. Was it in San Francisco? No, it wasn't even in San Francisco. It was just before we. I I, I bought a fuckload of weed. Um, near where Nelson is and we drove it to San Francisco because I didn't know where the dispensaries were you know just get it done and I wanted to smoke too so in other words I never ever smoked a pre-roll before last March and um I think I think I'm good with this the value is fine man it works the fuck is this thing about me having to fucking roll my own joints I hate rolling joints. I hate it. I mean, I know a lot of people, they like the entire thing. Grinding, your fingers get all sticky. That's usually, oh my God, that's my favorite part. Oh, I love when my fingers are fucking sticky and I can't touch anything. And then I, I try to handle my records and like the fucking residue stays on the record. That's my favorite part about rolling my own joints. My fuck off. Oh yeah. It's like, it's like say, oh yeah. It's like, I like building my own cars. No. If you can have somebody fucking roll them for you, have them roll them for you. You don't get to choose the different weeds. That's definitely not the case. I don't know exactly what weed they have here. But, um, it's sativa. It's really good. And it costs me 65 bucks for 10 blunts. 650 a blunt. I mean... All fucking day long. I've been smoking on this all day. It's beautiful. You understand how... That, that, that's what I call beautiful. Now that's what I call music. You know they should make a... Like a, like, like a, a, a CD series of that. Like some music. Did you know that CDs are coming back? CDs are coming back. 
You ever notice that on Wednesdays, I talk a mile a minute? It's probably because I've been gone and the show comes back refreshed, you know? All right. I'm going to get to uh, Father John Misty, something off the new record that uh, I haven't put away since I bought it, since we played it on An Old Man. It's a record I want to get to know because I really quite enjoy it, but a lot of records come in, you know? I want to be able to spend some time with records and listen to them more than just a few times. So... I'm going to play that. I'm going to play something off Father John Misty's latest record. I forgot what the hell the name of the record is, but um, I'm sure all you nerds are going to be able to tell me. What's the name of the record? Tell me. And um, before that, I'm going to play you something off of the Kurt Vile EP. This is going to be fun, because... Um, it's one of John Prine's last performances. It might be his last performance, as a matter of fact. Um, on the same day that the track with John Prine was recorded, they uh, performed at uh, the Old Opry together. So quite cool. Um, I'm going to enjoy it. I think you, you guys will as well. I'm going to get to your requests one by one. Thank you for those. Thank you for your requests, Polum. Darnsey, send me uh, send me a whisper with your requests and I'll take care of you without any problem and happy birthday. Rachel, look at that. How many songs does this guy have? If you put them all together, you might even get an album site. Darnsey, did you ever think of that? We'll serve it up however it is that you want. It's nice to feel appreciated, isn't it? All right. June 1st, baby. Montreal meetup. Now officially just one month away. It's fucking awesome. All right. Here's some Kurt Vile with John Prine. One, two, one, two, three. The day I walked down the street I used to wander Yeah, I shook my hand and made myself a bed There was all these things that I don't think I remember Hey, how lucky can one man get? Brush my shoes and I hum from the rearview mirror. Rhymes the admiration in a blind spot of regret. There was all these things that I don't think I remember. Hey, how lucky I can't want. I walk down the street I used to wander Yeah, I scratched my head and lit my cigarette Well, there was all these things that I don't think I remember Hey, how lucky can one man get?
day I walked down the street I used to wonder Yeah, shook my hand And made myself a bed There was all these things That I don't think I remember Yeah, how lucky Can one man get Yeah, how lucky Can one man get Yeah, how lucky From 
The link works fine. I just tested it. Look what they did. Just look. Even their romance made us masters and slaves. And our things keep getting worse while staying so eerily the same. Come build your burial grounds on our burial grounds. But you won't kill death that way I don't know about you But I'll take the love songs And give you the future in exchange I don't know about you But I'll take the love songs If this century's here to stay I don't know about you But I'll take the love songs And the great distance that they came Father John Misty certainly knows how to turn a phrase, doesn't he? It's... I think the guy's a brilliant artist, man. I I do like this record quite a bit. Um, one of my favorite records this year so far. Happy birthday to Darns. Long time. Long time VJ member of this not a cult. I started posting... Um, I, I'm beginning to get very comfortable in moo-moos. So, um, in an effort to, uh, increase my fucking social media presence, you notice how it is that it took me time to actually say it. It's, ugh, it sounds awful. Yeah. You know, this is it, man. Mumus. I think it's the way of the future. Very slimming. <laughs> See, we've got a little kangaroo pouch in the front, and I'm here to tell you all, in case you were wondering, completely free balling, no underwear. It's liberating, but um, I'm thinking that we may have a little bit of problems, maybe, because things are very sticky. I've noticed that, you know, you have to make sure you don't sit on your own testicles, because when you get older, your balls sag, right? And um, I noticed that the back cloth gets stuck in my ass crack. So there are some disadvantages to free balling in a moo. It's only really an advantage if you're standing up and walking around. So I may need to put on a pair of underwears. Just saying. Like right now, my... My penis is just trapped between my legs. It's just trapped. It's like a mouse trap. Everything because everything sticks. Maybe we need the gold bond. The gold bond. You need to powder your balls a bit. I'm not sure. What's your tip for me? What tips do you have? Mosley, what do you do for your balls? I just want to know, listen, robot sex, girls walk around without their fucking pantaloons. It's every, everything's simple. Everything's all tucked in. Us, we got our shit hanging around. You look at it the wrong way, you get it, it hurts. There are problems. 
there are fucking problems. You understand? Your balls sag once you reach a certain age. Did you know that, Uma? Did you know that? At this point, fuck, a, a strong wind catches me. It's going to fucking sail me away like I got bat wings. I got bat wings between my legs. You understand? I'm scared of the wind. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I probably, um, this might be the last time that, uh, I walk around without underwear, but I had to try it. I had to see what it is. You know, it's very, it's kind of nice, but underwear are comfortable. It's like having a little purse for your genitals. It keeps everything in exactly where you want it. You know where to find everything. Nothing gets stuck to this, you know, there's no sticking. All right, I'm going to play some of my metal records. Are there any metal requests yet? Let me go take a look at these metal requests. Let me see if there are any other metal requests. We got some Radiohead coming. With some Devo, some Cure, that's good. Darn Z sent me a message, so I probably have his tracks. Padgy, I owe you... I. Virgin Prunes, but I do not see a song called A New Form of Baby. Unless the song is called Sandpaper Lullaby. I don't fucking know. But I haven't forgotten about your request. Thank you. New people, are you enjoying yourselves? Yes. It's a nice way to spend a Wednesday, right? Why, yes, Sam. It's true. I feel that my mood has pepped up. That's right. That's Vinyl Junkies for you. It peps up your mood like like a delicious cup of coffee. A delicious one. Full of energy and fiber. It keeps you regular. Just become a patron today. And all of these benefits can be yours. Patreon.com slash Vinyl Junkies is where you become a patron. Lucky, lucky you if you're one of them. All right. Um... What am I going to do here? Yeah, this weed's very nice. Very fucking nice. I can I can function on this. Um, if you guys want to know... Hey, by the way, Canada. If you guys want to know where it is that I get my weed from, use our link, man. Look for the pre-rolls. Those are the pre-rolls I got. So far, absolute thumbs up on the blunts. On the sativa blunts absolute thumbs up beautiful those of you that are coming to Montreal if you need an order you let me know all right what do I do now do I play these songs let's play these songs new people welcome where am I going to start I'm going to start with ghost bath that's the next one. I have a ghost ma- bath record in the collection here somewhere. I know because Chubbs sent it to me. I lost it though. And it's frustrating. But I lost it. I don't know where it is. It's obviously down here somewhere, but it's misplaced. So uh, I saw this in the shop and decided to pick it up. Ghost bath. And um, played it a few days ago. Played it yesterday, actually, as soon as I got it and uh, was very pleased. From there, we're going to go into Classics Territory, uh, King Diamond's Band, Merciful Fate. This is like 1984 or so. Yeah, 1984. This is the early stuff. This is an incredible record. So... I'm going to play you something called The Oath. First, let's do Ghost Bath, shall we? Hope you guys are having a good time. I hope you enjoy the musical picks. If there's anything in the archive that pleases you, please let me know. I will be happy to do this for you. Here's Ghost Bath.
Darnsey, you do have another song. And I got you on the Merciful Fate. You're going to like what I pick. I think. No, you might not. Are you familiar already with um, King Diamond's voice? Look at this damn thing. Is this thing beautiful or what? Hippie Matt made this. I got my own. I, I I got my own designer. This is Hippie Matt who made it. I mean, okay. So you're gonna like what I'm gonna play for you then. Yo, yo. Have you visited the most explosive Instagram account in the entire universe? Friends, friends. Go join the Instagram. Pictures of records. Do you like records? And do you like to have fun? If the answer to that is yes, both times, then you want to join the fastest growing Instagram in the entire fucking universe. Don't forget you heard it here first! You will see me on display like a model. My collection of mumus. That's where you get to see my collection of mumus. Moo! That's my mating call. Darnsey, you got another song, man. Give me another two. Or save them up for the album side, man. I'll give you the choice of an album side. I like you, remember? You guys are just imagining my balls swinging between my mumu, right? Admit it. God damn. They do hit the knees.
the fastest growing Instagram channel in the entire universe. Yeah, absolutely, Darnsey. No problem whatsoever with me. Nelson never wears underwear. It's a fact. Did you know?
Here's some Merciful Fate from 1984. Classic album, Don't Break the Oath. Finally have the motherfucker. Here it is. The Oath, song one, side two.
Only the best for you, only the best. Only the best, I said. Only the best. Only what? So, that's the song that I think, uh, if it's going to turn anybody into a Merciful Fate song, uh, fan, that will be one of them. Great record. Great, great, great record. 1984, man. Early in their career, you know. You guys having a good time? Look at everybody socializing. Oh, hi. How are you? How's the weather there? The weather's good where you are? Oh, that's really good. Awesome. I'm like, yeah, the weather, you know, we have weather here too. Sure. You guys. And so, we're going to continue our little show with a track uh, for Darnsey. It's Darnsey's birthday today. Did you know that? Did anybody tell you? Have you not heard? It's Darnsey's birthday. And so you guys are giving him songs. This would be one, another one of his songs, okay, that he wanted. He thought it was a good song. So all of you, because it's his birthday, just tell him, Darns, it's true. It's a good song. Make him feel good, you know? Raise his morale a little bit. Raise his morale. Make him feel like he's a fucking big shot. Yeah, yeah, Darns, seriously. You have spectacular taste in music. Just tell him. Even if you don't mean it, it doesn't matter. It's one day a year. Have mercy on the poor soul. Just tell him. <laughs> All right. So, um, I dug up that, um, Virgin Prunes record there, uh, Padgy. So that's coming up. And then we got other tunes. Looking very forward to playing them for you. Hey, um... What do we do for um, album uh, for for our mixtape theme tomorrow? Throw the ideas out there, man. What do you think would make a good mixtape? As far as I'm concerned, a mixtape has to be able to be something that is instantly recognizable, instantly relatable, and can go across genres can span across genres, which is to say that everybody has it or does it or whatever. I don't want to fucking do wedding songs. Wedding songs. This guy wants to fucking hear Macarena. Wedding songs. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Wedding songs. I'm not even angry. I don't even know why I act like that. I don't care. Who let the dogs out? Yeah, that, that, that um, that's not for me. Like, I absolutely don't want to know what bland-ass music you would play. Ugh, ugh, weddings. Ugh, the idea. You know how much I hate it? So... I had a few themes. Well, one of them, just the one theme pretty easy for me is happy. That's it. Happy. There's a theme. Yeah, I don't go to no weddings. Pool party mixtape. Yeah, listen. Sure. We could do a pool party mixtape. No fucking problem. As a matter of fact, we'll play it. That's not such a bad that's not such a bad idea because everyone's got a pool party mixtape. Okay, I like that. I mean, one idea that's really good as a mixtape, right? I like it, but there's a problem. And the one that we have said like 
Music to clear a dance floor. Music to clear the room too. But the thing is, is that that kind of just assumes, well, I mean, it assumes that everyone's got an, I I don't know. Not everybody listens to fucking noise. You know what I mean? Not, I mean, Janet doesn't have any fucking Merzbau records. She doesn't listen to that. So it's kind of like, it's not a theme that is necessarily, uh, maybe relatable. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not relatable because not everybody likes that kind of thing. Simple. So. All right. What are we going to do here? Um, we're going to play Darnsey's song. I hope you guys um, are having a good time. I hope this finds you in the most excellent of moods, like at least in your top five most excellent moods. I'm kind of hoping that, you know, maybe we could creep up there. Just, we don't know each other long enough. Top five, Sam, seriously, you're, you're starting to crowd me a little bit. It's, I need my space. I need my, is this top five? It's, that's a lot of commitment, you know, I don't know you that well. I don't know. I don't know if I can commit to that, Sam. A summertime mix tape. I'm playing you through your annual two-hour sexual harassment training. Oh, no, that's ugh. Yeah, that's kind of gross. Anal is not allowed in thy office. It's as simple as that. There are some hard and fast rules. It's not the proper space. I mean, <laughs> I'm only, um, I miss manners for like depraved behavior. No, I don't want to do songs to offend people with. Definitely not. Cause then it starts getting into stuff that I don't feel like having on, on, on that tape. got to be relatable it's got to not aggravate me fucking mongoose wedding songs wedding songs who do you fucking know that's been married 20 years that wants to remember their wedding I made the decision you have to fucking remind me of it over and over again I'm the one who's got to live with her not you The best mixtapes are exactly that, Minoza. You see? That's why it is. And we have time. I mean, tomorrow's going to be the mixtape. The best best mixtapes are the ones that allow a lot of genre matchups. And we'll see. You guys will decide. How's that? Good. Good. I'm glad we had this this conversation. Are there any requests that I could get for you? Let me know. Put on requests. Go take a look in the archive. There's new records to look at. Did you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go look. Tell me if I'm lying or not. You tell me. You know, Sam, when he says it, it's true. I know. I know. I think summertime is a good idea, but I am partial. I mean, that's, yeah, that's pretty easy. Like a barbecue pool mix. Listen, would you guys like to put together this barbecue pool mix? As a matter of fact, we could do it over maybe even another time type of thing if we want to make it longer. And uh, we'll actually use it and play it at our party. Songs of Peace. Yeah, okay. I'm not, what, what, what am I, John Lennon? Oh, hippies. Hippies are dirty. You got to keep away from them. 
Hippies are like the gypsies of the north, of North America. In Europe, you got gypsies. Here we got hippies. It's us. The great unwashed. Songs of peace. I can hear the fucking pretension now. All right, look at that. Look at what drive-by trucker did. An album side of his choice. It looks like you got $35 towards an album side up to now, Darnsey. Do you like uh, how, you, uh, how, how people feel about you? You see? Dude, when you give, you get. When you give of yourself and you share of yourself, it comes back, man. It's awesome. Even Carpanzi is on. Even fucking Carpanzi. Can you believe it? That man has a very busy schedule. He's sitting there in his humble little apartment. Listening to us and hanging out on the Zooms. Aren't we lucky? Will Carpentier make it to the Montreal barbecue? What do you think? Many of you know him. D-Rock. We sometimes rate his channel when he does his little thing. What do you think? He's very, he says he's 50-50. That's the latest news that I received. What do you think? Tell me. July 1st to the 4th. We're going to have our country's birthdays together and a barbecue to celebrate both right here. You're going to get to see the record cave where we are broadcasting live right now. He's Canadian. Doesn't need a passport. No. Will he or will he not? I don't know. What we're going to do is we're going to put up a poll. You put up polls about just about anything, right, Sam? Yes, I do. Because I want to see who's paying attention. Who do you think I do this for? I do it for you guys. You guys know each other. So that's why we want to know. That's why. You guys, let's bet. Will Carpentier come to Montreal VJ meet up option number one yes no And that's it. That's the answer. Yes or no. Will Carpentier make it to Montreal? It's a question nobody but maybe five of us care about. But I need to know what your thoughts are. This is how you measure the room. You see all the love that we're showing Darns? That's love. Now we got to see how do people feel about Carpentier. Let's find out. Do you like him? Is he a rat bastard? The forum is opened. Please feel free to put in your comments. All right. I just wasted five minutes of airtime on that. <laughs> uh, nobody fucking though. Wait, wait, wait. It's like all the new people. Who the fuck is Carpazzi? Listen to me. Doesn't matter. Just jump in. Eventually, this will make sense. You know, like the world of Howard Stern. It's the same thing. You don't know, but eventually, you know who Hansi is. You know, and you know what he brings to the table. Debbie, the pet lady. You know who that is. You just know. Exactly. <laughs> Listen, you're allowed to, you're, you're allowed. Will it affect the outcome? Who fucking knows? Who knows? Who knows? We don't know. This is like one of those polls. You understand? It's before you find out. The votes are cast and you're the ones, you're the ones who are testing. We are, we are currently taking the pulse of the nation, of VJ nation. Uh, all right. 
This is uh, for Darnsey. Give it a listen. are winning up to now, 9 to 7. Carpentier said he would honor the poll, though. See, that's a, that's that's nonsense. He's trying to put the blame on you. Carpentier said that he would honor the poll. Let's see if we can get him to let's see if we can get him to win. Bit of a comeback, but still losing. Isn't it perfect that the pole music is my ass is on fire?
The Nose are winning by one vote. Two minutes left. My ass is on fire. It's tied. 50-50. It's 50-50 now. The results are razor thin. Thirteen, thirteen, one minute left. One minute left to vote. One minute. The Nose are winning. Fourteen, thirteen. Fourteen, fourteen. Excuse me, I am lost. Please help me. Go vote, you bitch. Will there be anything else, Mr. Bongo? No, that's fine, Carl. Thank you. So you see, Mr. Bungle, no one's fucking up your whole campaign. He's totally incompetent. Sleeper X commercials will be laughed off. The yeses are winning by one vote. Well, that's very interesting. Uh, I never thought too much of Fellow now that you mention it. And I'm starting my own agency, Mr. Bungle. I could do a hundred percent better job than that turkey. It's oh, tight again. Good. What you say is very interesting. What is going on? Fact, you are very interesting. Oh, Mr. Bungle, I didn't know you were interested. And you will give me your account for my new agency? Yes. Later. I mean, we'll talk business later. Later, we'll now talk business. Beautiful, beautiful body. You see? Caress Carpentier's body. Will he come to Montreal? I hear that uh, he likes to rock the Speedo. People always ask him if he's from Germany when he goes to these parties. Are you German by any chance? Nice speedos. Did you know? You got seconds left to vote. The no's win by one. Seconds are left. Seconds are left. Carpanzi doesn't look like he's coming. He won't come. He can't come. He has trouble <laughs> He has trouble coming. Oh, it's tied. It's tied. He may come after all. Will Carpazzi come? Seconds. You got there's a second left. Will Carpazzi come? Will Carpazzi come? Will he come? Will he come? 16 16. Fucking terrible. He didn't come, you see? <laughs> It's a it's what we call um it's what we call um a cliffhanger. You remember when Fonzie jumped the shark? You remember? Exactly. Remember? He was over there on the skis in the middle of the ocean wearing his leather jacket. Do you remember? I remember. He totally jumped the shark. It's like, all of you guys, now that there's nothing, it's all, it was all for nothing. You're thinking, why did you spend so much time on that imbecile? I know. <laughs> Dude, I make bad, I, I, I make bad decisions. That's why. I make bad decisions. My, um, my ideas of what is entertaining... It's very off the mark. Unfortunately, Polem isn't here to cut this into sound bites or anything. Because you can already imagine what that would sound like. <laughs> this fucking show. All right, friends. 
What are we going to listen to? Tell me. We have a few selections. Let's do um, the Virgin Prunes for our man Padgy. Thank you for your request. Virgin Prunes.
got some Radiohead, Devo, and Cure coming up. What would you like to listen to? Check the archive, see if I can't get you a tune. Title track to what? Bambino. That was the remix. That was the remix you just heard there. It's the Jesu Bambino re-edit. You never heard it. You just heard it now. It's extremely rare. It's a very rare one. Like, it's been only heard by very few people. Only very, very, very few people. Have you heard? Darnsey, you got another pick, which means you can put it towards album sides. You can to put it towards a song. Darnsey gets to pick the album side today. How does it sound over here? Is uh, the speaker is the mic distorted at all? I'm asking because I fucked around with the uh, limits. You said it's out half half. No, seriously, is it good or not? Give me thumbs up if it's good. Sounds ace? Okay, good. I was just wondering, because I messed around with my thing here, uh, this... I don't know how to fucking do any of it. All right. What are we going to do? We're going to play a set here. A nice set. Radiohead, Devo, and The Cure. All in one song after another, you see? Is, um... Somebody else picking another pulp song? Does this go back into the archive? All of a sudden I see all you guys getting uh, misty-eyed over pulp. I don't share this with you. That's not me criticizing you. I just don't share it with you. I don't come from the same place. Yeah. I missed all of that. The Britpop scene, UK, oh, I missed all of it for the most part. I'd like it if I gave it a chance. I had no issue with the song that I just heard. I 
I don't like drama, you understand? All this Britpop stuff, it's... That's ultimately what kind of like shrouded the music. So I, I don't want to listen to it. <laughs> you know, millionaire arguing again with millionaire. Just give me a fucking break. But I like the music fight. Today is going to be a day that they want to come back to you. I don't believe that anyone feels the way I do about you now. I know it. I know it. It's not like I don't know. I know. Have you ever heard Mike Flowers Pop Orchestra do a, their cover of that? That's another extremely rare remix. You see? You come here, you hear this stuff that you haven't heard anywhere. All right. So what are we doing here? Do we give you another request, Darnsey? Do we put it towards album sides? Darnsey picked his album side. I got to say that he picked a good one. I mean... It's going to be a big yes for most of us. This is what he picked right here. Can. Going deeper into the Krautrock catalog. Instead of always going to Ege Bamiasi and Tago Mago, which admittedly are two immense albums. Fact is, is that their other albums are really damn good too. So we're going to listen to a side of Monster movie. And um, it's going to be a worthwhile listen. We are currently at $35, dude. So, not far from playing his album spin. I'm going to go ahead and spin this section here. This is picked from, who picked this? Incredible Universe. You're so incredible. It's just very incredible to live in a universe with you, Incredible Universe. You happen to be right. It's so incredible. Edibles are incredible, incredible universe. Did you know that? The incredible edible egg. Did you know that? Did you know about the incredible edible egg? Did you know about this? It all exists within the universe in which you created. You're special. Very special. Dragging out your window, dragging out the dead Singing a mess, you snakes and let us flip the lid I pops the cracker, snaps you in the head Bounce you in the neck, kicks you in the teeth Steel toe caps, takes Looks like you just got your album side, Darnsey get, get the guns, get the eggs, get the flat in the face The flat in the face, the flat in the face Dance you fucker, dance you fucker, don't you dare Don't you dare, don't you flat in the face Take it where the love is given, take it where the pinch is all taken let me back, let me back I promise to be good Don't look in the mirror I have to face you Don't recognize Help me call the doctor Put me inside Put me inside Put me inside Put me inside Put me inside, put me inside. I keep the world from the door it calls me up Calls me on the phone Tells me all the ways That he's gonna mess me up Still the children
dude. I'm on my own right now, incarnate. Listen to me. Incarnate. Do you hear me, Incarnate? Incarnate. Do you hear me? This fucking guy. Uh. So this weed, is it good or not for the show? Does it uh, make for entertaining, uh, chuckle-worthy material? Or is it kind of like boring? Which one was it? We take polls around here. It's what we do. All right. Amusing not is here, you see? That's what we call irony. You see, irony. That's why they chose this name for themselves. Amusing not. It's a very, 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 very obvious type of irony. That's the beauty of it. Amazing not. The irony is so simple, even an utter moron would understand exactly what it means. Like you could be born with half a cortex and still understand what it means. Are we having a good time? Uh, what am I going to do now? I'm going to continue the set. I don't know why I stopped. Liars, we're going to get to that too, okay? I'm really happy I have a copy of this next record. And whoop whoop, that's the sound of the police. So ultimately, I guess whoop, whoop. it's that's a good time for me to um, say goodbye to our friends in YouTube land. Actually, the next one is a Warner Brothers tune, so that one will play, and eventually we're going to have to throw you off again, okay? So, if you're listening on YouTubes, come join us on Twitch. Here's Devo. Sir, thank you. Goodbye. Catch you tomorrow for Mixtape Thursday.